The movie Killers of the Flower Moon is about to be released in theaters, and the inspiration for that movie comes from a best-selling book by author David Grant. News on Six's Jonathan Cooper first covered the book almost five years ago and gives us a little background on the story that led to the book and led to the movie. Well, Craig and Lori, Grant spent years researching the real-life events surrounding this series of murders of Osage tribal members called the Reign of Terror. What he found brought new attention to a century-old story that had long been forgotten by many. Long before Hollywood movie cameras and A-list actors descended on Osage County, a New York-based journalist and author made his way to northern Oklahoma to tell a story almost forgotten with time. So many Americans, and I include myself among them, knew nothing about this history. This is David Grant. The person they're playing. The author of five bestsellers and even more featured articles and essays. We've spoken with him several times since the book was first published in 2017. But his research into the reign of terror spanned several years before that, as he told Leanne Taylor five years ago. When I visited the Osage Nation Museum, and they had this great panoramic photograph on the wall there, and it's taken in 1924. It shows members of the Osage Nation, along with white settlers, looks very innocent, but a portion of the photograph was missing. And I asked the then museum director, Catherine Redcorn, who would later become a friend, why was that missing? And she had pointed to that missing panel, and she said, because it contained a figure so frightening, she decided to remove it. And then she pointed to it, and she said, the devil was standing right there. After this meeting, Grant made several more visits to Pawhuska, meeting with the Osage and descendants of those who were murdered. Descendants like Billy Ponca, who I spoke with in 2019. Brian Burkhart married my great aunt. He was involved with the Anna Brown killing. Dana Daniels is the granddaughter of a couple who had one of the last arranged marriages in Fairfax. Everybody knew, but it was just so um, heart-wrenching that, you know, we just didn't really discuss it very openly. Grant would use these stories to help tell his story, one he was going to initially write in an article for The New Yorker. He quickly realized, though, the story was too big and decided to write a book. He chose the title Killers of the Flower Moon as a symbolic representation of tiny flowers that die in the Osage Hills every May from larger light-stealing flowers. The Osage referred to May as the time of the flower-killing moon. Part of this journey was trying to kind of chase history and try to hopefully capture it. The book quickly became a success with Time Magazine calling it one of the top 10 best nonfiction books of 2017. Amazon called it the best book of that year. In the years that followed, the story caught the attention of Hollywood. A bidding war ensued, and the rights to the movie sold for $5 million. Martin Scorsese, like Gran, worked with the Osage to tell the story completely and take the message from print to the big screen. A few months ago, Gran told 60 Minutes he helped actors in the movie learn about the real-life characters they play. Occasionally, some people will, will reach out to you. It's just a different world, you know? It's just a different world. The book has now sold nearly 2 million copies, a number that could increase as the movie spreads worldwide. Grant's latest book, called The Wager, tells the true story of a British naval ship that crashes in South America in the 1700s and has also been auctioned off for a Hollywood movie. Grant hopes it and Killers of the Flower Moon reach as many people as possible. One of the things you hope with a story like this is that it will become part of our consciousness, it will become part of our national narrative. And Killers of the Flower Moon spent 49 weeks on the New York Times nonfiction bestseller list. Jonathan Cooper, Oklahoma Zone News on 6.